Hi guys, uh, welcome back to uh, uh, Nomad Shop and His Life. I know it's been a while, it really, <laughs> so much is going on. Uh, but I thought I'd make a video because some things are starting to roll in my favor to get the hell on the road. Um, first of all, I am now living in my G30 um, Elite uh, Class C, 22 foot. Um, I'll do, I'm going to show some pictures and stuff in the video as we go along. Uh, presently urban, off-grid, and urban. I'm uh, in a little parking spot um, in, a, in the city. Uh, I, I, I like it. Uh, it's not, but it's not being a nomad. So the last couple of days, I had to make some hard decisions. As uh, some of you may know, I, I, take, I take care of my dad. He's now in a rest home and doing you know, a lot better uh much uh much to my relief um uh two or three two years ago a little over two years ago my mom moved up to this area um it was about 100 almost 80 miles from where uh, she used to live and she's in her 80s 83 and hasn't been adjusting well uh she know she's I, I hope she never watches, but she's very stubborn, set in her ways, um, and she just comes up with all kinds of obstacles to make life easier for her and for me. Uh, finally, though, I, 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 my health has not been good. Um, I can't be in a cold climate. I, I love the cold. That's the amazing part. I was never a summer person. I have to get someplace where it's 50 degrees on average. Uh, I have diabetic uh Preferable neuropathy, and right now my feet are like clubs. Um, I'm on pain medication, but it's the same pain medication I've been taking for five years. And not to get into the whole debate about that, but it's basically useless at this point. Um, but the doctors nowadays are so afraid to uh, uh, prescribe you anything uh, to help because they're afraid they're going to get, well, I don't know what what's going to happen to them. Uh, you know, years ago, we didn't have all this medication. Um, I guess we have morphine and uh, I think even cocaine was used for uh, pain relief. And I realized so many people have uh, died, so many families have been ruined because of opiates. Uh, but on the other hand, why should people who are obeying the law, who are doing the right thing, who are just trying to live their lives be punished? I mean, I'm 60 years old. Um, my mind is active. I have so many things I want to do, and I, I am limited because of that. So, anyways, not to get I don't want to get into that. I don't like this a long video. I will be producing videos on a regular basis. That's point number one. Uh, point number two, I will be uh, on the road shopping and making videos of that. Also, I am doing a trade. I'll know for sure this week. I don't want to jump the gun. But what I'm going to do is, the, the trailer is, uh, the, the RV is 30-something years old. Um, I have a friend who has a nice conversion van that's in really good shape mechanic-wise. And, uh, and I'm going to work out a trade with him. I He's getting the better deal. But at this point, I want to hit the road. I But i got to feel comfortable. At least with a van, if something goes wrong, I have my AAA. I have the high one there. I get can tow two, 200 miles. Uh, in any direction so it gives me a little comfort because I bet I am going to hit down I'm, I'm thinking about going to the Baltimore Maryland area uh, I think the temperature will help me a little bit there and um, I gotta get to the show of the road man I've been playing this for years um, at the point now I thought I was gonna leave like two years ago couldn't and uh, you know when you're not when, when you're uh, taking care of other people and trying to do your own thing and you can start getting older, I'm not the type of person, I can't go running around and running, and running errands for, for, for three hours and up in my van, a truck, car, whatever, and then start going solicited customers from a shopping business. It was just, it's just too much. I have to concentrate on one thing. So what that has done is it's really depleted my fund. I had quite a bit of money set aside to do this, but that's okay because I can make really good money doing what I do. And uh, I have some income coming in, and I've cut my expenses down to nothing. 
So it's going to be a, a this next uh, few months. It's going to be very important for me to really get this going. So I'd love to have you guys follow along. I know there's got to be a lot of people out there who are on the on the fence like I was, who have had, you know, it gets to a point where you get so much in your head that's almost you're the one putting up the stumbling blocks. I, and I really had to self-analyze myself on that. So no more stumbling blocks, no more excuses. I'll be on the road within two weeks. I will be doing a little conversion on the conversion van, making it into a camper. I'll also show you some videos of the uh, Elite, uh, the camper, uh, the, the RV. And uh, I'll show you how I plan to do my setup when I hit the road. God bless you all. Peace and blessings. Please like, please subscribe. Hit that little bell, beep, beep, beep. And uh, leave a comment. That's it. Got it all in at that, that time. Peace.